back another day. Got a haircut. What's up, puppers? What's good? Look at you, so pretty. Can you sit? Can you sit? Can you shake? Are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? Apex. Getting so dang big. What do you think, Jay-Z? What do you think, Bob? Can you sit for me? Can you sit? Can you shake? Can you shake? Hey, can I high five? Can I get a high five? All right. You're a good boy. Look at ya. So pretty. Anyways, um, decided I want to put the intake manifold on today and the alternator. Uh, maybe even get to the vacuum pump slash high pressure fuel pump later. But the alternator is, it's got some oil on it from sitting in that box that had other stuff that had oil on it. And then the intake manifold was just covered in grime. I actually just took it out and pressure washed it. Um, turned out really good. I sprayed it down with some engine cleaner and uh, some WD-40, pressure washed it, looks great. So I might, I don't know what to do. I don't know if it's safe to pressure wash the alternator. Um, I'm gonna try and just clean it up because it looks, I mean, it's disgusting right now. You see like oil on it um, and the way it mounts up. Yeah, you'll see that at the top. This is just, no, I should have got a new one, but they're expensive. So I'm going to try and clean it up a little bit. I wanted to hit it with the wire wheel, but I don't want to get any little bits of metal down in there. And uh, it's pretty much the same with the brush. So I'm just hoping to kind of just hit it real quick with the pressure washer, but we'll see. I'm going to look it up. Well, uh, sorry I didn't show that up. I just kind of tossed it on and got carried away. It was so clean, I just started connecting things. So really, uh, you got one water hose off of this that goes all the way up, um, matches here. This goes across here, the, sorry, this goes across, goes to that fitting back there, which will connect then. And I got some nice painted black hardware for that. Um, you got three connectors that sit under the manifold and they sit in here. You got one, two, and three. I think this is sitting backwards or crooked. I don't like that. Well, maybe that's the way it's supposed to sit. Uh, either way. Then you got, that's for your knock sensor. You got one that comes around right here for this. One that comes around there for this. I believe I left this screw in for this line, which we'll be getting to that, I think, next maybe. I need to spray off the dipstick still, get that in. Got the bolt there for that. Um, probably swap that out for a black one as well. Uh, got this in. I never took the support off, so the support's in. And I don't know whether to tighten this first or last. I'll probably do it hand tight, and then uh, then now I'll snug these top ones in. So the trick for the bottom bolts through there, so that you don't drop them, I use a set of mechanical fingers. Uh, I grab the bolt and get it in there, twist it on a few threads, and then repeat for the whole bottom row just so you don't drop it usually if you do it lands on top of the fuel rail or gets there behind like the oil um not the oil cooler but what's it called heat exchanger and uh it's a bitch to get out did it on the side of the road once not a good time not fun at all <laughs> um yeah so use these it's the next day here yesterday i got a little bit carried away forgot to hit the record button to do the time lapse to get the bolts in but the manifold is fully installed, looking good. Um, I have got a couple specks of something I gotta wipe off, but overall, she's installed. Next up, I need to do this high pressure fuel pump, or vacuum pump, this, the whole assembly. I was asking, um, his name is Gen3Jetta on Instagram. Check him out, he's got a dope ass build going on. He, he builds motors and stuff, so. We've been going back and forth randomly, like I do with everybody. I asked him how to install this. He said, I, because I was trying to put it on, we got like that roller in there and it, there's a spring on that and you'd have to compress that and match up those teeth there into the cam. I kind of like fiddled with it, but didn't give it much pressure or anything. I didn't want to mess anything up. He said, it's hard to do it that way, but to uh, just take the two bolts off the top here and pull it off, install the bottom, install the top back on. Should be pretty simple. So I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to put tape on the surface here where the gasket goes. Clean it up a bit and then uh, take it apart. Put it in. And that's pretty much it other than I'll go grab the crank pulley and stick a bolt in there and at least make it look like it's... No, maybe I'll wait. Yeah, because the bolt, the bolt shipped out today. I think it'll be here Friday, which means we can have this car 
the motor in the car Saturday and start it Sunday. Now, I just sent an email to EQT. I don't know if um, the current tune on the car will be okay to do the engine break in. I don't know how soon they'll be able to send a tune over. Um, I also went today, I got break in this same guy, Gen 3 Jetta. Shout out to him again. Uh, told me to get this stuff with whatever oil of my choice, conventional oil, not synthetic. And uh, use, he said, use most of the first bottle for the first um, initial startup, change it, put in like half another bottle and do like 10 miles or so. And, or I was reading two different things. I forget what he said. Someone else said do like 10 miles on the second oil change, uh, varying RPM. And they did it a couple different times, like a couple miles at a time. Drove, let it cool off, drove to get the heat cycles. Change the oil again, and then I think at that point they put regular in, but I'm gonna do a third one with cheap oil and whatever additive I have left. Um, do a couple hundred, maybe a hundred miles on that. And then swap to synthetic. Anyway, um, that may change by the time I do that. But I need to get this high pressure fuel pump in, and yeah. Oh, and the little adapter for the head comes in today, which means I can put all the rest of the ugly crap that goes over top on. Um, I need to put the throttle bearing into the trans. I need to do a couple other random things. Still need seat brackets. I'll be sitting literally like on the floor for the first start probably. So that'll be fun. <laughs> boy, oh boy. So much going on over here. Here, you guys can uh, watch me attempt to take this thing apart. God damn, it's tight. I think I was hitting the housing with the... I'm expecting a spring of some sort. He didn't give me a warning of anything, but... Feels like it's just gonna pop right out. Couple threads, maybe get a flathead in here. There she goes. I think there's just a seal, a good seal here that's... This is how you undo things when you're scared. <laughs> Hopefully this goes back together easily. see a seal at least come on I have to put these bolts so close to the damn housing cleaning this thing was dumb it's like oh okay that's neat so I've never seen a high pressure fuel pump before there's that I've never I've never changed mine out or anything, so I guess that's a little piston there you change out. It's kind of like a valve, I guess, is what seems pretty simple. Oh boy. Ugh. Okay. Well, there's that. And apparently, I can just press this little roller out. So there's a little roller in there. Oh, yeah, it just comes on out. So I'll clean these up. Install this real fast. Got new bolts, new gasket, courtesy of shop that. We'll, uh, we'll go toss it on real fast. Okay, this slides right on, it's three bolts. All I gotta do is key up that thing I was showing you before. Now I'm gonna slide this other piece on and try to get this line on that at the same time. That way I can tighten it up down there, put that bolt in, I'll set it here, goes in there. Boom, that'll be done. Once that piece gets here, I can start laying over like the brackets and stuff and clean that up. Um, yeah, getting pretty damn close. Get this damn cap off, Jesus. This should. Needs to be nice and play. I'm gonna have to 
press the hell out of this thing. I don't know. The bolts will nice. We'll just go down little by little. Still need to clean it. This thing turned out ugly. There's this is like the eyesore of the whole motor. Someone needs to make like a real nice version of this. Or take OEM ones and clean them up, make them look pretty, something. It's not the right. Where you at? Is it you? Is it you? Yes. I don't know what the torque is for this, and I don't have new bolts for it. At least I don't think I do. Let me double check before I yank the hell out of these. I'm sure you're supposed to replace these, but I don't see these coming off. <laughs> no, I ain't got no new ones, so... That will suffice. Now I need to get a wrench in down here, and that's gonna be tight. That's pretty much it. I don't even have to cover up the motor anymore. I don't think. So sometimes these lines act funny. You kind of you got to make sure that the line itself is centered in there. Like this can be like without. That's what this is here for is to keep it. Um, like centered because I was tightening it down and this was like sitting way down on the bottom so beware of that so the mail lady just came brought me this piece I've been telling you guys about I'll drop the link for his uh, I think that he has a Facebook page but I'll at least drop his email tell him Bryce sent you and you want the coolant head adapter if you want this I think I paid $22 comes with a Viton o-ring and a spare one um, let's put it in okay so I already got a oh Bolt there waiting on it. Get that baby out. Slam this baby in. Oh yeah, she fits in there real good. I almost tripped. Gosh dang, she don't even want to go in. Come on. Needs a little more lube, I guess. She took some damn force to get in there. Holy crap. I don't think this thing will ever leak. I think I have it in there. Totally straight, though. I sure don't. Hell yeah. There we go. Nice.